John here with Synth and Software, and we're taking a look at Contact 7's new browser, which lets you search for sounds by sound type, as well as character, and then as you're going through the sounds, you can actually preview them from within the browser without having to load. So that can be really helpful in certain situations if you have a lot of sounds and you're trying to get to them quickly, you're not sure exactly what you want to load. Now I've heard a little grumbling on some forums about the new browser and people preferring the old style view. So for those who may not realize it, that view is still available by clicking this icon up here. And then you're looking at the typical contact interface. I also want to share a couple of other tips, and these will work for earlier versions of Contact 2. The first is using this search bar. If you're not using this to filter your options, you really should. It's really fast, and let's say I know I want to use a specific library, maybe something from Project Sam. I can just go in here, type PROJ, and now my view is filtered to just show me my Project Sam libraries on my system. Do it again. Maybe I want to find something from Spitfire. And here are all of my Spitfire libraries in my system. So it's a really fast way to get to what you're looking for without having to scroll through your massive library, which I know a lot of people have. Now this other tip is along the same lines. Before I knew about it, it would take me a long time to organize my libraries, dragging them up and down in the browser. And if you have a lot of libraries, and a lot of people do, it can be a real pain. But if you have a mouse that has a scroll wheel on it, you can click and hold on the library and then quickly zoom through your libraries and drop it in place. So that's another way to speed up moving around within contact. So there you go, a couple bonus tips for contact. If you didn't already know about them, now you do.